Hello everyone, this is Endgame Mars. We do another box, another breakdown, another demo. This is Resident Evil 5, the definitive edition, basically. Uh, this is uh, a PlayStation 4, available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, I want to start out the saying that they, I'm a big fan of Resident Evil series. I've always been a part of it. And Resident Evil 5 is not one of my most favorite Resident Evil games, but it's not the worst Resident Evil game, as a lot of people are trying to point out. I do recommend if you go to the settings to change the settings to classic uh, Resident Evil 4 mode. I pers me personally found the, uh, the controllers work a lot better in that settings for the game. Overall, Resident Evil 5, the definitive edition here, basically is the same uh, version you would get of the gold edition if you ever got that one. It comes with all the DLCs, all the updates, all the tweaks and alterations to the game, all on the disc. There's no redeem code or anything like that. I popped it in, there's no updates or anything. So basically, it's just the same game, just now in 1080p at 60 frames per second, if you're into that. Now, I must point out, the only thing that's actually missing a feature in this is that it does not support the PlayStation Move controller. So, you can also look at this as that they, you're actually losing a feature in this version. Not, not that I'd say too many people played it with the move, but you can't deny the fact a feature is missing now. Other than that, Resident Evil 5 is like where uh, a lot of the hate really generated for the Resident Evil se nowadays series. Resident Evil 5 is not a bad game. It's not as bad as people try to point it out to be. It's just not the Resident Evil we know and love. Due to it introducing a co-op and a, a, a partner that's always there, it doesn't have the same kind of zombie enemies. It just has a lot more action packed and a little bit more just the on the spot action gameplay than more or less than the original ones on the uh, PlayStation 1 or Resident Evil 4. When really it's not much different than Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is almost identical to Resident Evil 5. It's just what alters the, the feeling of fear is the fact that you got always a second partner there that helps you. Now, and you can also play co op so you can add that, add that extra person who will help you survive. It brings in a, a lack of fear due to the fact you have a support. You don't feel alone and isolated and like, cornered. Now, Resident Evil 5 is personally, I'd say, better than Resident Evil 6 because it has certain features that uh, I think a lot of people actually didn't generally just enjoy from the Resident Evil series. And that is uh, weapon upgrading, which I feel that is what really hurt Resident Evil 6 was due to the fact you can upgrade, buy upgrades, make, increase the speed time, reloads, increase the damage, so on and so forth. That's one of my most favorite uh, progression systems in games, is up weapon upgrading. And I think this is what that would really hurt Resident Evil 6, was the fact that it was missing that feature. And now that's also, a f uh, Resident Evil 5 actually has another feature that I really love as well, item management. Now most people don't enjoy fundling about with items, but I've always enjoyed like customizing and deciding what items I should take on the battle, uh, to the next section, or just open up the item box and deciding what to take with me. What was great about this is that you can get so many items and if you start feeling overloaded that you can store them into an item box and then uh, you don't feel like you're being punished because you're having so many items or something like that and you're actually trying to use it strategically to, to save up your items and stuff like that and store them up. It's a lot of fun to do that stuff and that's something that really hurt Resident Evil 6 in my opinion because you couldn't do those certain things. On top of that, due to the fact that this game allows you to store items when you discard an item, it sucks that it makes the item disappear, but at least you know that when you, if you held on to it, you can store it into a storage box. Or something like Resident Evil 6, when you dropped an item, it's completely gone. You, you couldn't re-pick it back up, and you didn't have a storage room to put it somewhere, so you just felt like you are being punished for just picking up items, almost. But Resident Evil 5 still follows the formula of Resident Evil, it just introduces more of... It's still the closer uh, what we know and love from the Resident Evil series with more item management, more uh, weapon upgrading, and I personally say the enemies were a little bit more threatening and terrifying in Resident Evil 5 than due to Resident Evil 6, but that's my personal opinion. I personally say Resident Evil 5 is a lot better than Resident Evil 6. And I'm saying 6 is bad, and it's still a fun game, but this one's preferably closer being better for me. Now. They're both great co-op games, and they're great, both great games to sit down and play. And for 20 bucks, you can get this game, or you just wait a little longer, you can get it for maybe like $15. It's, it's a, almost a must-buy for your next-generation console, or your, your, this current-gen, how you want to look at it. 
and uh, I want to point out I also like uh, picking up the money items and uh, selling them and uh, getting the resources and collecting all the crystals and gems and stuff. That's a lot of fun to my in my opinion. I usually when I beat these games and did so much on them, I usually just start storing as many of those jewels and crystals up. It was just a lot of fun to do those kinds of things. Now, it's just those were the things I think it would help make Resident Evil fun, which which that was introduced in the original Resident Evil, just more. Not into the style of more art. This is more arcadier when it got into Resident Evil 4 and 5 because it had like the money system and point system, if you could look, if you will. But this has main, like I said, main. Resident Evil 5 is not as bad as people try to say it is. It's not the best Resident Evil, but it's nowhere near as awful as people try to say it is. I do recommend to pick this up if you can because it's just a lot of fun. And like I said, it comes with all the DLC. It comes with mercenary mode. It comes with all the characters like Rebecca and Barry Burton, Wesker. It even comes with the original costumes. It comes with the DLC costumes for Chris and Sheva. It comes with versus online versus mode if you are interested in playing online mode. Now, you can play split screen on this. You can play split screen on the mercenaries mode. It, it's just there's a, there's a lot to function feature into this game and you can play online if you want to as well play the campaign with a friend or something so that's also a benefit there this game is i think a must buy just due to the fact it's really well made and I, I had no problems it was pretty polished it looks great and it plays great the only problem is also is that shiva's still dumb she still gets in the way she still uses up ammo she still shoots you in the back they didn't do any tweaks or alterations to that. It's just basically a reskin, not reskin, but more of a just pretty up, name, make it 1080p, 60 frames per second. Basically, what people, the PC gamers got, we got it on our next uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One now. I recommend looking at this game up. The only really problem I say with the game is still a uh, split screen mode has these small little boxes. They didn't really fix the split screen mode. It's still these smaller boxes that it's just so small to look at. I wish they would have just covered up the entire uh, the screen by screen, if you can see right there. It's just, it's just too small, and I wish they would have just covered it all the screen. That's the way I, really, I think the really flaw is. I was literally disappointed that split screen mode did not make like, cover the entire screen because it's so small of a screen. But uh, I'll leave the links to it in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, hit that like to subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.